Hey there YouTube, this is Average Prepper. Well, it's the last day of January, and all that snow that we had melted overnight. This has been a crazy winter. Uh, it's, it's been cold at times. We'll get some snow and then it'll, it'll warm up for like a day or two and everything will melt. Kind of got me wondering uh, if I'll be able to plant my garden early this year. That'd be nice. Yeah, right here's my little garden area that I I just tilled this up last year. It's pretty small. I just wanted to do something that was close enough to the house so that watering it wouldn't be an issue. As you can see, it is kind of kind of wet. And it was like that when I plowed it up last year. Uh, I got my garden a little late. I don't know if that's why some of the stuff didn't do as good. Then I put these in. Um, this box on the end here was all full of asparagus. I had some of this out in the backfield, but I couldn't keep much of an eye on it. It would actually flower out. Uh, I should have picked it. So I decided to move it all up here. In the center there, we planted some strawberries last year. And we're hoping, we had some runners coming off of these. I'm hoping I add it on over there. Well, to spread some of the runners, plant them over there. This is just raised up. It's probably about six to eight inches higher than the surrounding ground there. Might add on some more here too. As you can see right there, it's sort of a ditch. There's like a drain tile right there. It drains down all the way down to the ditch by the road. Uh, this, this is generally fairly wet back here, so I can only add on so much without having to really build it up. Yeah, another one of the projects here for the coming year for the little garden is I want to get some. Uh, rain barrels to come off the, the pole barn here. Right now I just have it, they drain out this little, and that's not much of a ditch, it's just a low spot. I guess it used to be a bit of a ditch here years ago, it's just kind of a low spot now. Got one there. There's also one uh, on that end there. This is a 40 by 30 pole barn. You can't really get a good view it here. It's 1,200 square feet. A lot, of, a lot of roof space. It's all metal roof, so there's no shingle debris that we have to worry about. I think I should be able to get a pretty good amount of water off that when it rains. Uh, I just have to pick up either some uh, barrels or some of those totes that I've seen. Around here, I've looked on Craigslist. People are wanting about 100 bucks a piece for them, though. I'd like to see if I can't get them for maybe half that. Yeah, I finally got this Coleman stove run here. Uh, I did a video, I did a part one of this. Uh, didn't get very many views, so I just took it down. But I could get it to light, but it would go out within like a minute. It's like it wasn't holding pressure. Uh, I've replaced a bunch of parts, but it turned out it was uh, this little unit here. This is called like the generator. It must have been clogged up or something. So I, it wasn't too expensive to get a new one. Uh, just put that on, then it uh, works like a champ now. So that's great to be able to take this out camping. And, uh, it's a little backup source if power's out, gas goes out, whatever. Uh, I tested this out, I put a little teapot on there, and then less than five minutes I was you know, boiling the water. So this thing works pretty good. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's more like April than the last day of January.
Thanks for watching.